Okay, welcome back everybody. Just finished off the latest walking stick, a little uh, Game of Thrones inspired because of the opening of this week. So I figured I'd do a dragon walking stick. Um, as you can see, it is uh, made of poplar, nice hardwood. Did a few extra details. A uh, couple of curves in there. Really wanted to, uh, to do something special, a little bit bigger than most. But uh, compiled a little video on a sort of step-by-step -step process uh, along the way as I was making it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do enjoy this and some of my other videos, please hit the subscribe button and uh, I'll keep them coming. Hope you enjoy it as much as I had as much fun making it. Okay, Thanks. so we have the walking stick all glued up. As you see, this here we have two one by twos six feet long glued up as the main center shaft of the walking stick then we have two one well it's actually one uh, one by four glued together double stacked on each side that's the sketch that i had made up the main center part here inch and a half for the one by twos all the way up i just simply transferred it over uh, some carbon paper so you see the layout left myself a little bit of room it's going to be a lot of material to remove <clears throat> which is a good thing because this weighs quite a bit actually at the moment um, it's made out of one by twos and one by fours poplar um, should have a nice grain a nice finish when it's all done going to be cutting it out with a jigsaw I'm going to try and first uh, take out these corners here with uh, perhaps a forstner bit uh, be able to get the jigsaw in there and make a nice curve a um, little concerned about drift of the blade with the jigsaw if you have a bandsaw it'll work a lot better but uh, I'll start cutting it out I figure this is going to take me uh, many hours to cut through get it um, at least at a stage where we can start carving uh, so, All right, let's get so as to you it. see, um, the cutting with the jigsaw is going rather well. Um, I made a few holes with the Forstner bits, uh, just so I could be able to put the jigsaw in and make some of these cuts, because the, uh, the rounding will be too much for the blade I have. Uh, depending on the grain pattern or the grain direction, uh, the cuts are going easier. Cross grain is going very well with the grain. It's a bit slower, but... Uh, Let's do a few more cuts here and uh, see what goes on. all cut out as you can see the jigsaw worked out pretty well it, it cut out things very nicely a uh, little bit of drift on the blade as I was talking about so you you have some like the angle here you see it goes not quite perpendicular but that all gets cleaned up as we round the edges so don't have to be worried about it too too much uh, you see that center one by two that was there uh, that was six feet long, so I've cut off about eight inches from the bottom for now to give it a, a decent height. And with the excess that was cut off, I glued on part of it here and there. It'll, it'll have a bit of a curve as we go down. Eventually I'll, I'll notch out a little bit here. And a little bit in here just to give it a little more curve. So if you stand back, you'll, you get that nice S-curve going down, and it gives a good spot for a handle. Um, 
The handle itself, that'll all be knocked down with a spoke shave. It's kind of made for it, so it's perfect. Right now the dimensions are inch and a half square. Um, figure near the bottom will get down to about one inch uh, round diameter. Uh, up here, I'll keep playing with it obviously to make a, a decent handle size. For the top part, everything will be rounded off, um, redid the center lines, and you see about a quarter inch maybe on either side. Uh, that's going to be your spots to figure out where to do the round over on each corner. So more than likely these, uh, these lines will have to be reapplied over and over as we work on it. But for now, uh, I think it's going to work out pretty well. Now comes the tedious task of, uh, of rounding over all the corners. Be using a number, number of files. If you have a grinder with a, uh, a flap disc or some kind of grinding wheel, be fantastic. I do not. So I'm going to be doing it by hand, so bear with me as I go through it all. Alright, so as you see we're making a little bit of sawdust. I'm starting to curve over one side of it. Um, it's slow. It's <laughs> slow process, but it's getting there. Let me show you some of the tools I'm using. Um, as I said, don't have a grinder, uh, so we're doing everything by hand. We got uh, some rasps. Um, various forms. You saw me talk about them in the last video. The spoke shave, we're going to leave that for the main shaft. Um, the rest of it is just using chisels and uh, uh, a wood file. Very rough on one side, on the curved side, medium fine on the other. Um, but it's working out pretty well. If you see here, it's starting to curve over nicely up top here. I'm leaving the head till the end. I want to shape the body so I can figure out the full width. So it's starting to curve over pretty well, and uh, I'm onto the front side right now. So I'll just show you a little bit how we're shaping. It's uh, it's always on the push stroke. So we're just working our way. Obviously, you remember the the lines, the center line that uh, we drew at the beginning. You don't want to pass that because when you do the other side, which is still square, you'll round over to it as well. Um, I'm leaving the back a little thicker, that's that quarter inch on each side space, but in the front I'll go right down to the center line. So I'll just keep shaping it. So we're about uh, two hours in, um, mostly rounding over one side so far, trying to get to the, uh, the midpoint lines that we, we marked up. The head will be last. Um, as you see, the, the tools that we're using, um, just some regular chisels, uh, some of the, uh, the microplanes or the rasps that I talked about in the last video, <clears throat> and just the, the handy file. Um, so we just continue. I figure it'll still take a, a little bit of time.
sanded over here. Um, still going to need a lot of sanding afterwards. Got uh, the handle over here reduced and the, uh, the little curve that we put in pretty much roughed out. As you see it's still a little rough, needs a bit of sanding. So we can start putting our focus on to the main shaft itself. Currently it's still sitting at an inch and a half square. I want to take this down obviously. We've got to round the entire section down. Um, I'm thinking to get it down to a one inch, one for the rubber foot that's going to go on the bottom. It's a one inch diameter. So you see I found center, uh, marked out a one inch. That's a lot to take off with just the rasp. So what I'm going to be doing is taking all four sides down, the majority of it with the planes, um, and then round over the corners. It'll make it a lot easier. So let's start taking the planes and uh, taking a bit off. So as you can see, we have now put a nice taper using the hand plane. We got it down close to the one inch diameter as we were talking. Had to wedge it up, as you see, to make that uh, nice transition from the inch and a half down to an inch. What we're going to do now is we have to knock off a little, little shoulder plane. Just knock off the corners. Continue doing this, and we're going to turn this thing into a round. Tune in a little bit, won't take too long, going to make some pretty curls, and uh, we'll get this thing round. Hang in there. So using the Dremel and an HSS bit, I'm just going to try and get out some of these deeper scratches. sanding we're done shaping and now we're ready to finally get started on the finishing with a couple of clear coats of polyurethane uh, sanding in between I think we know how it all works uh, normally I'm a big fan of doing it with uh, foam brushes but with the amount of curves and details I'm gonna start with uh, a small brush it's just to avoid a lot of the drips that a foam brush tends to do, and especially on some curves, and you're already starting to see some of the nice, nice grain starting to pop with this. I think this is going to come out great. starting to see some of that grain pop out. <laughs> 